Even with light decompression sickness, the bubbles can cause itching skin. In fact, this is usually the first sign of decompression sickness. These creeps can also be the starting signs of a serious illness. Obese divers may feel stomach pains because the nitrogen is carried off more slowly from fatty tissue, which has less effective blood circulation than muscle tissue. This is why fat is considered slow tissue. Heart and skeletal muscles are examples of fast tissues. Sometimes a diver will suffer from the bends. These manifest themselves in the form of aching muscles, joints, and bones, and are caused by nitrogen bubbles gathering in the afflicted areas. Temporary paralysis can occur. The casualty may feel such strong pain that he writhes in agony. If the bubbles form in the brain, or in the central nervous system, certain nerves may become paralyzed, or even paraplegia can occur. In the brain, the bubbles can cause hallucinations or blindness, and sometimes they lead to death. If decompression times are disregarded, gas bubbles can form in the bloodstream. If bubbles gather in the lung, they can cause acute respiratory depression, coughing, and anxiety, and possibly also cardiac arrest. Gas bubbles cutting off the coronary arteries. Can also lead to a heart attack.